We're here on People Talking Sports Room by actor Skylar Aston. Thank you so much for joining us, man. It's my pleasure to be here. Native New Yorker. Native New Yorker. Repping the Knicks times two today. You gotta open it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, we got the uh, NBA Jam. I don't know if you can see that. The old retro Starks Ewing combo. It's the best. So They were the best combo because you have the shooting and the shot blocking. Yeah. And it was People go like Mason and, and Ewing or even Oakley and Ewing. It's like two bigs. Who's going to shoot the, from way downtown? It's, and that's also like conservative to the point. Now we're like all about you know, long ball and everything like that. Oh, no. Then it was all about the fundamentals. Yeah. The, the fake shot down to the pass down low and Ewing. You know what I'm talking about? Dude, I miss it. I miss the post up. The post up was a wonderful thing and Ewing always had the fadeaway. Yeah, and you like kind of have a bromance with Enos Cantor. I have a little like texting relationship with Enos Cantor these days. <laughs> I love it. It's uh, it's I, I feel so fortunate. I, I I tweeted something at him, or I tweeted something that he tweeted, and he liked it, which was nice. And then he followed me, and I was like, whoa, he must be someone though that follows like verified accounts. Then I realized he's following like 38 people. Oh my god! And I was like, oh my god! So then we we texted through Twitter, and then exchanged numbers, and now we're basically best friends for life. <laughs> it sounds so much like courting a woman. Yeah, you know? it's very exciting. Well, I'm a married man, so this is like, this is like <laughs> as exciting as it gets in that kind of department. This is what the chase has become. This is what it's all about, getting to know like the, the dudes on the squad. Oh, he's so like my type. Of, I mean, you're, you grew up with the same teams as me. Like We're talking about that like gritty 90s toughness. That's what yeah. Enos kind of represents to me. He wants to be there. The whole team is very unselfish, and yeah. they all want to be there, but he just like, it's killing him when he's out f f from these back spasms and things like that. This dude just wants to be there. He loves being at the Garden, um, and he's just embracing the whole you know New York basketball. And he should, I mean, we've long missed this. I mean, we, we talked about Mason and Oakley. We, we, we deserve this. We deserve this unselfish team. It, yeah. I, I'm really anti-ISO ball. I'm anti-ball stopping. I want movement. I want, it, it translates offense to defense. Yeah, well, what's been great about this part of the season is that we get to see what we have. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I, I all respect to Melo, and I think he's going to be great on the Thunder. It was really wonderful to watch Porzingis become elite, you know, and now we're, we get to see what's going on, and we're going to be buyers at the trade deadline, not sellers for once, which is going to be so exciting.